Hello everyone and welcome to another replay of mine. This time I'm playing the Murmansk in a tier 5 battle only. I got the Murmansk by winning a giveaway over in Mija's stream. I will put the link into the video description. He's a good guy and a really good player. I am playing here on Solomon Islands and being platooned with Otto. He is going to scout the middle while I'll try to support him. The Murmansk actually comes with the camouflage already, which combines both of the in-game camos, so you get minus 3 detection and minus 4 accuracy for enemies shooting at you, but you also get the plus 30% XP gain per battle. Otto is about to scout what's coming through the middle and I'm about to be in a position to actually support him and there's the first spots which are battleships, they're way out of range. I could use my spotter plane but since the uh, island is still in the way there's like no point doing that. I also got spotted by air, I'm using the uh, Gnevni commander at the moment though that's why I have the situational awareness. There's a Kuma that is about to be in range. I might as well try to get some shots on him. I switched to high explosive because of the uh, destroyer that was spotted, but he's in a odd position for me to shoot at him, so I keep shooting at the uh, Kuma instead. Switching back to armor piercing now. Just taking a quick glance on what's ahead of us. And then keep shooting the Kuma and there's a one citadel. And one more salvo. And there's four citadels in the first blood. He got really unlucky there. Need to get a bit careful now since there's one battleship and the destroyer ahead and we also have planes incoming. Just using the torpedo launcher to check what's the Königsberg actually doing, but he's stopped by the looks of it. I don't extinguish the fire straight away since there are still torpedo bombers lurking around. Now that they dropped, I can actually extinguish the flames, so I don't need to burn anymore. Gonna harass that battleship with this couple more AG shells and there's actually a destroyer coming around, it's Clemson, so starting to shoot at him instead. Got some hit, took out his engine and he starts to smoke up. And <laughs> didn't help them. <laughs> I hit him and got a detonation on him. So I got a devastating strike medal for that. So switch back to the uh, battleship it is then. Got a fire on him, it's quite fortunate. He is getting focused really hard by the team now. And I have no idea what our Miyogi is doing while he's pushing around the corner there, running into two tier 5 German cruisers. Got another fire on him, which is nice. 
Of course it helps taking him down fast. And even now a camera is on him. So he should not survive that much longer. Got another fire. And his flames... I'm not sure if he used the repair or the flames extinguished on himself. But he was burning prior, so... I guess he used his repair. Any second now should be game for him. And there he goes. Now I'm switching to armor piercing to engage those cruisers. Holding my fire here for a second to Get him further into the turn just to make the first salvo count already. And there's one citadel. He's trying to run away, I guess. Another citadel. A third one. And the last salvo, that's yeah, game for him as well. Now the second Königsberg is actually already low health. Maybe I should have switched to a high explosive at this kind of angle. But I figured only a couple of shots or salvos to take him out. He's not quite giving me the broadside that I wanted though. The first Königsberg actually knew what was going on since he asked how many citadels I got on him. And there's the second Königsberg gun. And oh look, a carrier that actually moved up with the fleet. Unfortunately for him, uh, everyone on this side on his t uh, of his team got taken out already. And I'm not using high explosive now on him because his planes are already above us. And as you can see on the Citadel, it's worth getting more damage. Took out his engine as well. No, it's just a case of shooting him down. Probably should have used high explosive at some point just to prevent for him from starting another squadron as he just did. I got the kill there and with that I got also got the uh, Kraken medal for 5 kills, which is really nice. Our victory is in sight. The other flank of our team held up pretty nice as well. They still have something left. And we actually have a destroyer that managed to sneak through the middle. Starting to go for our carriers. I'm looking here if I can loop some shots over that island in the gap between the hills. But if I can, it will be more luck than anything else to actually hit him. Since as you can see, I can't even uh, see his ship. So I have like no real target. I'm trying it anyway though. You never know, you might get lucky. And there's the uh, second carrier. It's 
switching back to armor piercing here. As I said, like I like to take them down as fast as possible. I probably should have set him on fire at least, but he's probably more busy running at the moment. Also, getting some more citadels on him, which is nice. And I have problem. Oh, there's another citadel coming with the uh, high caliber metal and the confederate metal. I most of the time have problems uh, leading enemy carriers since you don't usually see them running that often. I got a congratulation on the uh, Kraken award earlier, which I didn't really notice, but now someone mentioned I have a good game and I just replied to that. Some more citadels and that's him gone. Someone else got the kill, but I'm fine with that. And that's the end result screen. We got the Confederate, First Blood, Kraken, Devastating Strike, Anti-Caliber. We got 2938 experience and 364k credits. Also scored 24 citadels. We scored top of the team though. Otto got unlucky. He also was spotted by the planes a lot. We did a fair few amount of damage. We did 94k with armor piercing, 21k with high explosive and another 15k with fires. Which sums up to uh, 130k, which is really good for a tier 5. After the repairs we still got 355k credits, which is really good. And thanks to the camouflage bonus, our 2200 base XP boosted up to 2900. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully see you on the next one.